Hey guys, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and today I just want to talk about that 2018 New Year's resolution. So we're in the second week of January and by now you're probably going back to your job and you're sitting there and you're going, ah, I've just had all of this time off and I'm starting to now think, what am I really doing here? Why am I... Why am I committing to this? This is not what I want to be doing. I'm really sick of what she keeps talking about or you know how the, the boss keeps treating me or whatever it is. And by now, maybe that New Year's resolution has gone by the wayside. Maybe it's started to, to slip away and maybe you're telling yourself, oh, well, you know what? I didn't even make one this year because at the end of the day, I never even keep them anyway. So what's the point of making one? So I just want to highlight a couple of things in and around the New Year's resolution because I want to make sure that 2018 is your year. And, and the first and foremost is just bring your awareness, bring your attention to that internal self-talk. If you ask somebody who says that they never succeed at their New Year's resolutions anyway, well, you're already lost because you're already going into it with the idea that, well, what's the point? You know, you've given up before you even started. So start having a look at that one first and foremost and start to identify where is that coming from because there's a deeper belief to it and... You know, it's not true. It's just a story that you've made up. Okay, granted, maybe you didn't quite make the 2017 New Year's resolution or maybe the 2016 or maybe the 2015 or maybe you haven't even made them for the last 10 years. But that does not mean that 2018 has to be that same way unless you, of course, want to bring that story to 2018 and make sure that it is the same way. So start having a look at the internal dialogue that's going on for yourself and start to change that. Start to implement a daily affirmation that says that you are somebody who does complete their New Year's resolutions. You are somebody who achieves the goals that they set out to achieve. And I guess I should probably take one step back and say, first and foremost, make sure you've got this goal written down. What is that goal that you want to achieve in 2018? Is it starting that online business? Is it helping a orphanage in Africa? Is it what is it? Like there's got to be something bigger because at the end of the day, working in nine to five and paying your bills is I'm sure not what you have planned for 2018. And, you know, I'm sure many of us don't. Or perhaps it's to, you know, it might even be something like growing your Instagram following. It might be, you know, whatever it is, getting a message out there. Whatever it is for you, write it down. Now, one of the things that I find very, very powerful when it comes to my own goal setting is actually not to even talk about it. Now, this can be one of the hardest things to do because when you write down the goal and you're in that social circle and everybody's talking about, oh, I'm going to achieve this this year, I'm going to achieve that. And, you know, you want to pipe up with whatever you're going to achieve because um, for two reasons, generally. One is to because you're excited about what, you, what you're up to, what you want going to achieve, and that's awesome. That's, that's amazing. But the other one can also sometimes be for a social validation of what it is that you're wanting to achieve. Now, this is a delicate space to be playing in because if your idea is still fresh to you, then there's a high chance that if somebody says, oh, that's, that's a terrible idea, why would you go and do that? That's just not gonna work. Then you're going to, you know, sort of be like, oh, well, you, there wasn't really an idea. It was kind of like, oh, you know, it'd be nice to do, whatever. Like, it's just, it's not the right time to be sharing your ideas with everybody. Sure, there might be one or two people that you can trust and there's that, that deep bond connection that you are able to share that with. And you know what, if they actually turn around and say, I don't think that's the right thing, that it's actually an empowering thing to you and the way that you interpret it, rather than it being a disempowering thing and kicking off the internal dialogue of, yeah, I'm not worth it anyway, I'm not whatever, whatever. So start to have a look at what it is that you're out to achieve this year. And when you do have that written down, when you do have that solid plan, what I would highly suggest for you is to just go to work at home in silence and just allow your results to, to shine. At the end of the day, what we're talking about here is achieving that 2018 New Year's resolution. Or it doesn't have to be the specific resolution, but the goal for this year. I'm sure there's something that you're working towards. And when you go home and you just behind closed doors and you're just grinding away and you're able to connect in with your own intuition and just follow that, then you are going to find that by the end of 2018, you have achieved a lot more than what you've ever even set out to, you know, to believe you could achieve. So start by having a look at that. Start to um, limit the temptation to actually talk about your goals and how big they are, and, and especially in full detail. Maybe just say, yeah, I've got some big things that I'm setting out to achieve, 
and you know I'll talk about it when I'm ready. Start talking about it probably when you know it's already in motion, when it's actually more of a foundation rather than just being a, an idea. Because I know from my own personal experience, when I've spoken about something that I've been excited about and gone, yeah, that's great, somebody else has gone and squished that for me and I've pulled away from it. And at the end of the day, there's a lesson and a learning in there for yourself. There's something that if you do follow down that path, okay, sure, it might not work out. But there's some lesson and learning and growth opportunity that you've got there that you can then take on to something else and to something else and something else. That still plays a part. So keep in tune with your intuition. And I guess that flows into a previous video of mine talking about meditation. The idea of meditation is purely to calm the mind and to be able to connect in with your intuition. Now, when you are bombarded by social media and work and everything that we're bombarded by these days, it can be really difficult to actually tune into what's going on for yourself. So start to make a regular commitment to having a bit of quiet time. You know, ideally each day, um, ideally make it a morning routine. It's a great way to set the day. That's one of my personal uh, enjoyments. Um, or, but at the same time, just, you know, at your lunch break, just sit there by the, I don't know, by the park or wherever you can and just, just tune out for a moment and just allow all of the stresses that are going on for you just to dissipate and just to, you know, let everything go and just ask inward to yourself, like, what do I want? Am I happy right now? What's going on for me right now? How's that, that goal and that dream and that vision that I want to create this year? Like, where am I at now? And if you're feeling lost, then ask yourself the powerful question of what can I do next to keep moving forward? And whatever comes up, just take that action. You know, if it is a case of sitting and down and, you know, doing a video, doing a blog post, writing some content, or maybe making a few phone calls and starting to find a supplier, find to, you know, find some information about how you can make that next step. Take that action. This is another thing coming back to talking about your goal. It can be really easy and it's, um, whilst I don't know the scientific behind it, it's something that I've experienced for myself. It's almost as though when you talk about it, or even you talk about it to yourself and go, oh yeah, that's what I need to do. You almost get that, that kick of uh, endorphins or, or something to the effect. And all of a sudden you, you have that almost satisfaction as though you've completed it, but yet you haven't actually taken any action. So be very mindful of that as well, because that's going to obviously limit the amount of um, achievement that you have in 2018 with, you know, towards your goal. So anyway, I want to make sure that you do hit that goal in 2018. So just have a bit of a think about that. Be mindful as to who you talk about your goals to. Make sure you've got them written down and sit, you know, quietly take action and start chipping away at your goals and also tune into your intuition and trust it because at the end of the day, it knows more than what you consciously know and it's going to allow you to move forward with what it is and it'll have the answers to, as to what to do next. Anyway, if you got any value out of this video, like it, comment, share it, show it some love and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.